Lee stop him from turning my world around. This is crazy bad. You got some psychopath, borderline crazy person that's like, oh, he's about to go take a shower. And like, oh, he's got to use the bathroom now. So then I go and I'm getting ready to use the bathroom and what? You start bringing up the shower, right? Oh, he's got to go shower and da 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 Oh, got to show up upstairs because I'm looking for my soap. Like, where's my soap? So I see my rag. I'm like, okay, I see my rag in here. Of course, I'm looking for my soap, so I use the other soap. The bar soap I just left in there because I'm like, fuck it. It's so small. Y'all yeah, keep this. I'm going to give me another thing of soap tomorrow. I even thought about buying a bar soap earlier when I went to my own neighborhood because I was like, I need to get my soap that I use, which is Dove. And um, that other antibacterial, so I use two soaps. So I'm like, I need to get the one that actually have the bar, first of all, because I don't trust y'all niggas with the, the, the one that you put stuff in in the first place. And it has bleach in it, too, so I'll put bleach in your ass. Um, because I like to make sure that I get any type of drug smell that might be lingering in the hallway or something like that, make sure it's out of my skin. So I put a little bit of bleach in it. So that it cleans my skin thoroughly. Because usually if you do like a whatchamacallit, if you have eczema, you do bleach baths. Like once every two months. I used to have eczema. I used to use the um, lactate lotion, which I used to get prescribed. So it's kind of like weird. Somebody brings up, oh, your soap is upstairs and we're using it. Now that's kind of weird. At the same time, I'm like, oh my God. So I just try to close my ears to the conversation. But it's like, dude, what do you expect? You say, oh, that's funny as hell. It's not. It needs to be kind of weird when every day you're doing something like that. Every day. It's not flirting. It's not nice. It's not, oh, I like you type shit. It's crazy. It's like people are playing you to look like a crazy fool. And then you whisper in my ear this bum shit all the time. Like, oh, play a lot. No, no, this is weird. Like, this is really weird. Like, this is like giving me hangups with people. You know, somebody's like, see if I care in the background. What the f is wrong with New York City to the fact that somebody's sitting around saying that? You got people thinking that this person's damn near putting him close to God. And I'm having to yank his ass back down to reality. Like, of course, it's gang stalking. And this person's telling that person, that person's using this person. You know where I'm about to go, so you send somebody there. You know what I'm about to do, so you tell somebody that. You da -da -da -da, and you watch me all day long. So if you watch me all day long, you know, oh, he left the soap in the bathroom. So what we're going to do is when he gets ready to go to the bathroom, we'll say this and we'll do this. Like the chicken burrito yesterday. I, I was eating chicken burrito. So they start talking about chicken burrito. Then I get outside with a chicken burrito and everybody's mentioning, oh, I see chicken burrito. Has he got a chicken burrito in his hand? Yeah. And I'm just like. <sighs> Like, it looks kind of like obsessive compulsive crazy. And I'm just like, that's not cool. And it's all this like graphic shit and all that stuff. Like, dude. You're trying to get, it's like you're trying, you did wrong. One, because you didn't really tell somebody something. One, you're trying not to pay, you're trying to cut somebody out the deal, like I said, obvious. Then two, you're not trying to set responsibility of what you've done. You're trying to mix everybody else in your bullshit so everybody else is guilty of harassment. Like the people down the hall, just because he tells you to do something doesn't mean you have to do it. So therefore, you be guilty of harassment. So therefore, you have stake in trying to cover it up. See what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, do all this stuff, people, so that y'all are in the same boat as me, so that we all have to kind of hide. Then you make some other stuff and some other secrets to it. And you got this person having to look out for you when they really didn't want to look out for you, but they have to because they're embedded in it. Then you make somebody else's big secret with it. And next thing you know, you got y'all two trying to hide out and fight out. We got people's jobs on the line and this, that, 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 and the third. Like I sent the chick, the commission of the help receipt. Like, yeah, I, I turned it in on y'all. I'm trying to figure out what the hell y'all are doing. Then you got somebody else talking about this, that, that, and the third. Of course, I'm turning all this stuff into what you call it and putting it online. 
Because I'm tired. Like, I don't think, like, you're talking about some, somebody that doesn't care. I care about myself. So I'm going to tell as many people as possible until you do the right thing. Because I'm like, this shit is stupid. And if you get away with it once, you'll get away with it twice. If you get away with it twice, you're going to keep trying to get away with it. It's going to get worse. You're going to, next thing you know, you're going to try to be all up in a person's bed. Like, I feel like somebody's probably been in my damn room while I'm asleep. I'm like, that's really creepy. Like, it's not creepy enough that somebody comes in your apartment while you're gone. Then you let somebody come in and vandalize my place and didn't tell me. That was another thing, which would, that's probably when they stole something out. It was when they vandalized my apartment. And I know somebody had to hear. As much as nosy as my neighbors are, y'all had to hear somebody tearing up my apartment. I mean, tearing up. When I got back, plants were thrown. And it's like, you let this person do this and get crazy with it. So they just keep getting crazy. They'll tell you how to do this. They'll tell you how to do that. You make their name known. When their name known was at my school, oh, we got your name known all the way down at your school. So your name wasn't known. Or your nickname wasn't known. So now you're happy that somebody's name is somewhere. And it just gets to the point where it's like, so you really were kind of like a nobody, but now you're kind of making yourself known by playing people and by using your positioning of people and trying to make it big. Like today I went by on 59th Street, the security guard. I was like, okay, so you clearly could have had the security guard saying shit when I was walking, excuse my language, when I was walking down past security a long time ago. So I'm like, I've been noticed that you can have people strategically put to say things and do things, right? So I'm like, it's not like you're really somebody, you're making yourself into somebody by using other people. Then all of a sudden, there's another thing, you follow somebody long enough to know exactly their secrets or what's secretly helping them. Then you try to lie to them, act like, oh, he's killing himself and he really needs your help, guys. Then all of a sudden, you try to make it look like he's lying, or I'm lying, rather, when you say, oh, he's Joseph Antoine King is trying to kill himself and I wasn't. Then you try to get somebody to try to help and say, oh, this is why he's doing it. He's trying to get in, but he has to be this type of way. Then all of a sudden they start believing you. Oh, well, this will be really good for him. And no, it's really not good for him. Y'all are lying to use them. And then once you start using them, then you all of a sudden they start figuring out that you're using them. And guess what you have to do? You have to turn around, back around on me and make it look like it's my idea. So then they're mad at me. Or they're acting like they're mad at me. You're acting like it's doing them such a big favor. Like it's giving me so much money. And then you're like, oh, somebody's stealing his money. Like nobody's stealing his money. They just have no intention on paying me. And we're sitting here like, you're sitting here all, oh, darn, you know, we got to find who got your money. No, they got the money. The same people that told you they're probably going to help has the money. Like, of course, like they're playing you and playing them to run away with the prize. And we're still sitting here like, well, why didn't this guy get this? Because he doesn't listen. And then he gets mad because he starts putting stuff in your mouth, right? Oh, well, hey, they said this about you. And I'm like, I wasn't thinking about them. Like, that whole Bezos guy, I had to tell people they stop saying that shit. After every time I think or say something, stop saying that. Like, what the fuck is y'all's problem? <clears throat> like, I'll be thinking Bebe's kids. And then all of a sudden, like, oh, now I smell his breath now. It's never going to stop. And y'all are fucking fucked up. That's all I got to say. All y'all are fucked up. I'm putting this online. Like, I really do wish that y'all get everything that's coming to y'all. Anybody that ever participated in this bullshit, I hope you do get everything that's coming to y'all. Because it's not right. I was like, and then it can happen to you. Like, I wish that y'all accidentally do something to this individual and everything starts turning around on y'all. Like, I pray to God. Something slips up. Something happens. And then they get mad at y'all. I pray to God that happens. So you can, feel the, you can feel the real full wrath instead of somebody trying to cover stuff up. And this is, of course, in the YouTube video that I'm posting. I'm glad my YouTube is actually starting to get uh, viewed. I got to put more tags so more people see it. So more people know the truth. I'm sick and tired of being like, 
basically like you like this and I'm like I'm seeing that most people are starting to start looking at my videos too on my Instagram so it's starting to pick up so at least that's good because all it takes is one person to tell one person to tell one person to tell one person and it's all done and I'm also going back and I am going to end up figuring out how to pull out my own lawsuit if y'all keep trying to tell people to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait I'm going to go file my own like I've already filed one with the comptroller I guess that incident happened with the police where they said that I was aggressive towards them. Yeah, we're going through a hearing and we're going to go to court. Like, I'm not, I'm not playing. This is not a joke. And somebody, oh, you just run, you know, if you say, and this is all the same shit that you hear if you logged into my camera. You could hear it. And then it gets changed for some odd reason every time. And I'm like, this is stupid because you're basically, you set me the I said and start thinking about it. you. De you basically did it. At one eighty fifth, I was like, "Dang, why around the same time my cousin got busted for cell phone stealing, stealing cell phones? I got offered um, by some people I barely knew about flying out of state and getting some cell phones. The same year. Then when I was at the hospital, I thought about seeing somebody." Because they looked just like somebody else. And I was like, no, nah, that couldn't have been. And then when I was at Zipcar, I could have sworn I saw my light-skinned cousin. I was like, and he was getting brought up at 116. So I'm like, dang. 